Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. Today we are going to show you a beautiful volcada, but coming from front ocho. Yes, normally the most common one is coming from a low voleo, back voleo for her. This one we are going to take it differently. So you can use it on social dancing or you can use it for stage if it's like larger of axis. Yes. Position, but we'll show you first for social dancing because you can use this and it looks very beautiful, especially for navigation when you, have, we, when you are in a corner and you need to go around wedding making time, you can use this and then keep navigating. Yep. So let us show you this right away without wasting time. We are going to take a just side step, small side step, just for you to see it. Pum pum. Front sacada, walking around. Jump. Pa, pa, pum. Give her time and one pump pump pump. Just to resolve with a little faster pace. Yes. So let us show you the technique and mm -hmm. the special moments you need to know to get together before going off axis. This exactly. is the most important, I think. Yes. So you don't rush uh, the follower, you don't rush the leader. Followers moving forward too early. Yeah, let's go directly to the to the point that we need to correct. So let's enter with the side step. You already know how. So I'm extending the leg, waiting for the leader. I know this is volcada because um, this is just front ocho, but I see, I feel the sacada. So in this position, I go around with my leg and here he's lifting me. Yes. So I have to wait in axis. I keep my right leg straight and then we'll go to the re-embrace position. And now I know, okay, this feels like we are going to do something of axis because the embrace is very close and he's lifting me. Without going off axis, I feel this going up. He keeps going and now we go off axis in this moment. So I keep the position of Volca that you know already and waiting for the cross and cross to walk to the resolution. Yes. So that specific moment is important for both followers and leaders. On my side, when he embraced very close and he's lifting, I don't rush anymore. I'll wait there. Lifting me, moving, close embrace. What happened next? I don't know. So I should not improvise any figure on that case. Yes. So for the leaders, we have a few tips for you because not all the followers are medium latitude. <laughs> so some followers will have the habit or the tendency to rush the hip. So we have a few tips here when we are lifting her, a few tips. And we have side step to prevent that rushing. This is what I meant. So Saka, here's the thing. Now I'm lifting right away, but without pulling back with my right shoulder blade, if I will pull with my right shoulder blade, she will do a front ocho and it'll be too late. So we just need to pull in one position. And here's the tip that I was talking about. Right away, bring her close to you before she has the, the opportunity to rotate. So lock her, tuck with your embrace and your hip. So at this moment, even if she tries to rush, she won't be able because your right hip is locking her, yes? So from here, we keep rotating. We take an extra step at this moment. And we are going to first send the leg. This is the other thing. I'm sending the leg, not the torso yet. So I'm preparing, checking if she's in a good position. Once we have the leg out, then we can proceed to the volcada and into a resolution after you give her time to cross, of course. Yes, don't rush her into the cross. Especially check if can I say something at the very, very end when we are here? Check if you have a proper distance during the cruzada. If I will be here, this is not a proper distance. So when I reach my axis, look what happened. She's with the wrong leg. And then if that happened, then you don't pay attention to that. And you are with the wrong leg and you're going to step on her toes. Bad, yeah. bad news for her. <laughs> and I feel like rushed. I feel mm -hmm. like from the cross, poof, he's pushing me. Yes. Yeah, it's very gentle, especially because the volcada is extending, so we are in lower position. Going back to the cross, we're going to the higher position. We are here, up here. So we need that uncross moment. From here, go to the next position. Let so lifting for both is very important. Let us show you the same figure from the other side. Okay. We are going to take a side step. Front ocho, boom, 
under sacada, lift close right away, and volcada, and cruzada to resolution. I think I over rotate. With this, you can do that. <laughs> yes. I was going to tell that. With this step, you can do half turn, one turn, one and a half, two, just to adjust to the line of dance. Mm -hmm. Because probably you started in different angles. So you can use this to navigate and to adjust to the line of dance. So this is very nice because she is not in a bad position. She is very comfortable if she feels your upper body is supporting. It feels like so easy to go around. And you can make it larger extension, like long volcada, yes. or just a little bit of axis. Let's show you for social dancing the same, very much like almost in axis. It's a little bit extension, but not much mm -hmm. more for social dancing. So you could mm -hmm. do that from the ochos to the volcadita, chiquita, small, and go to the resolution or yeah. walking again. Yes. So you could do like low volcada or just small. Leaders, remember the, the step you create before the volcada, that uh, left leg is going to create the volcada size. It can be large volcada, malat, uh, or very short, depending on that prior step. Yes. And followers, one uh, last sip. This is the moment of waiting for him. Let me show you again here when he lifts. Sometimes I see followers doing this. Oh, yeah. Already going to Volcada because you are guessing it's Volcada. Or we feel the rotation. And when we know, for example, I know he are lifting. I know he's going. He's going there. And I see your followers. Some followers are doing this, putting all the accent to the front and not waiting for the moment. Remember to wait on the side. Wait, 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 wait until the last moment. And the last moment you start going, start moving off axis from the torso, and the last move is your leg. So it's not too heavy for them. Yes, let me show you that, specifically okay. that. So just only that motion. When he starts going, she goes with the torso, and then the leg into the cruzada. Yeah, so during the ochos, you know what to do. When he lifts you, Get into Volcada, be patient, float, wait there, and then we accent the Volcada. Before we leave, we would like you to we would like to recommend to you our website mediumleonardotango.com. You will find a course, two courses actually in Volcadas, Volume 1 and Volume 2. The Volume 1 is all about technique, working in Volcada, point of connection, embrace, how to enter, how to exit. And then in the second volume, we have a ton of figures, reverse Volcada, coming from different positions, uh, long Volcadas, social dancing Volcadas, you name it. So check that out at mediumleonardotango.com. Yeah, there's many options for Volcada, mm -hmm. a lot of technique. Thanks so much for your comments. We are reading your comments. We are preparing our classes. Based on that, we get what you want and we create those topics. And thanks so much. It's very nice to talk to you through the comments. We love you and we'll see you in the next one.